Hey, what is up everybody? Today's video, I'm going to be talking and telling you guys about the Dodge Viper ACR build. So this is a GTS model, but it is an ACR edition of this Viper. So I announced that I was gonna, at 50K, give you guys a Viper build. I've been wanting to do something with it for a while, but we've been focusing on all the truck stuff and the other projects. Even the S2000 has been getting love. If you guys can see it right there. But the Viper was put on the back burner engine wise. We have done just about everything you can imagine to that Viper besides the engine. And just to give you, I wanna do a complete separate video on this because it would take up an entire video in itself, but literally we have rebuilt everything on that car except for doing something with the engine. So I'm talking just off the top of my head, transmission, rear end, uh, exhaust has been done, every single bushing on the car has been done, coilovers have been done, short throw shifters, uh, the list goes on. We did a big brake kit, pretty much, and I'm not even exaggerating, everything has been gone through on the entire car, but we need some more power. So I finally decided to do that, and I've been holding this card for a while, you guys. So uh, I picked up this kit. Uh, it was a deal I couldn't pass up, and I've had it for a while, and it's gonna wake this car up insanely. So um, I'll get into some, some of the specifics on the actual engine on this car. Fortunately or unfortunately, uh, the 2000s did not come with forged pistons, which happens to be what this is. And it means that we can't, potentially can't run as much boost on the stock uh, long block. But I'm gonna address that later. What I do wanna do for you guys, and like I said, this is gonna be an ongoing discussion for you guys and with you guys, but I'm going to be putting the kit on the engine as it sits. We're gonna run it that way for a little bit, and then we'll probably end up doing a full build on the engine down the road and we'll end up cranking things up. So without further ado, let me get into it. So in today's video, I'm gonna be getting some of the stuff addressed with it. So I'm not gonna be installing the kit just here and now. I'll show you guys what I have on the floor. Probably not the most exciting piece to show you guys right away, but that is part of the kit. Uh, I just finished ripping off the valve covers. You guys didn't miss a whole lot there. I'm taking out the valve covers um, to get everything powder coated. So that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys. Um, I'm sending this over and we're gonna go over right now to the powder coater, so I'll take you guys with me for that. Um, but it's pretty common for the paint to peel on these valve covers. This one doesn't look as bad, but if you look down here, this one's all peeling and on the front side, you guys might say, why'd you put it face down? But they're gonna get all cleaned up. So um, yeah, these are gonna get repowder coated. It's actually the same age, ironically, as the intake manifold, but for some reason the intake manifold doesn't seem to peel, those do. I think part of the reason is the valve covers are actually magnesium. So I do have, let me just tell you guys, here it is. This is the beast that we are gonna be putting on here. So. Um, I'll lay out the kit and show you guys exactly everything that's involved later on in this video. This is the beast of a head unit we're gonna be putting on this thing, and I'll get into that a little bit later, but I do have to run right now, and I'm gonna take you guys with me, because it's a used row supercharge kit. So yes, it's uh, made from row racing. They make a lot of custom and uh, performance modification parts for Vipers. They've been around for a while, and this is one of their kits. So it uses the Kenny Bell, and it uses all this custom piping for the Viper, but it did come off of a yellow car, so we're obviously not gonna put that yellow on the red car, so what I'm gonna do is get all this stuff powder coated, so there's also some brackets, so these are the two main tubes, and these are some of the throttle brackets and tie brackets, so I'm gonna get these all black. I'm thinking as well, I'm gonna do these all black, let me know in the comments down below. I think there should be enough time for you guys to hopefully give me your input because I'm going to try and get this stuff knocked out soon so that we can uh, just get right into this build. And that's kind of the plan, but I want to get everything prepped first. No sense in putting on all this yellow stuff. So what happens is essentially, I'll just lay this out quick. I'm not too worried about the yellow coating right now because it's all going to take it off. This is where the two throttle bodies go in the front. And I might have this upside down, but you guys get the general idea. That goes in the back. So throttle body, throttle body, air goes in, supercharger sits right here in the middle. Um, so that would sit in the middle and this whole red intake manifold and everything comes out. The other uh, awesome part too is the stock intake manifold has uh, the fuel rails integrated into the intake manifold, which is actually really bad for performance. I think they did it for a space thing. 
but um, essentially your fuel is getting heated up every single uh, minute <laughs> once the engine's up to temperature. So um, <clears throat> this kit actually comes with external fuel rails, which is really nice and it's got all AN fittings. So this thing's gonna look trick. So supercharger will sit there. Those two pipes will sit here and this whole thing is gonna be removed. So it's gonna look awesome. What I'm thinking is doing this in a nice fresh red. So that's what I'm thinking on that. We'll get those nice red and I'm on the fence. Either I do all of this yellow piping in black or I do it in bronze. So that's where you guys can drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Do we do it in red? Do we do it in bronze? This build is gonna be ongoing. So I'm gonna be revealing the details as we go, but I'm just trying to get everything sorted out. Uh, HP tuners, of course, will handle the tune. And it's gonna be pretty fun, you guys. I'm pretty excited. So it's gonna wake this thing up. Like I said, I'll get into specifics of this and all the kits. I don't have the whole kit laid out in front of me here, so I'll get it all out and show you guys exactly how it all fits together. Um, but we're also, guys, this thing is gonna get crazy. I also have a methanol kit uh, on its way as well, a row racing kit. So a buddy that actually used to own this supercharger kit, he's sending us that row racing kit. Uh, methanol kit so we'll be able to turn things up let's get going let me know in the comments below what color you think we should do all this stuff and uh we'll see what we get into today so unfortunately boys we're gonna be taking the s2000 today it is uh, about 110 degrees out so i am not getting in that sweat box we're taking the ac okay we got all this nonsense in the trunk let's go Boys, I don't know if I've showed you, but the inside of the S2000 these days looks phenomenal. Even got some nice spoon sports mats. <laughs> we got carpet, we got everything in here. She looks good in here now. Let's go. Okay, boys, we're on our way. Look at that huge fire that's on the other side of that mountain there. Apparently there's a massive forest fire going on. You can see it there. We're gonna be going up that way, so. We will see if it gets worse going this way. Not good. Look at this dude with the second gen Ram with the sketchiest trailer in the world. Look at that thing, just dancing. He's got the Cummins on. Look at that axle bounce. Look at that smoke cloud. It's so surreal looking. Apparently there's like thousands of acres that burnt last night. I guess it's still going, obviously. Whoa, look at that, you guys. It's like something out of a freaking movie. All right, guys, we showed up. Here's the man with the plan. President, bulletproof. And he uh, he was just saying, because they're magnesium, we're gonna have to prep them a little bit different, but he's gonna get it done. Yeah. So, you were saying like this stuff, right? Like Yeah, it's like pitting in the metal, stuff like this, stuff like that. So you just have to strip them a little bit different to yeah, uh, get it done, right? More prep work, a little bit more setting. Cool, so we're gonna unload this and then we'll, we'll talk colors and all that stuff. All right, guys, I think we come up with a plan. So we laid it on the floor, just like that, and I think, what we're gonna do is red valve covers and we're gonna do the bronze to match the wheels on that. We're trying to decide between black on the yellow portion or bronze, but I think we're gonna do bronze, right? Bronze. bronze. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right. So we're gonna match the same. He already knows the color of the wheels. I already told him the same color that I got the wheels powder coated a few years back. So it should look good. So look at all the wheels this guy's got. So he's stripping them down. This is a strip station, right? Yep. Strips them and coats them, paints them. Well, not paint. Don't say paint here, right? <laughs> right on. So that's where you paint them, right? Or yeah. I guess you coat them and then they go into the yeah. seven. You coat, you coat them in the booth um, where it's filtered and then you roll them into here, which is the oven. Obviously. Damn, so this heat must not even do anything okay. to you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already thinking it's hot. It's freaking, this guy's got an oven in here. This is, this is at 410 degrees. Oh, that's insane. <laughs> All right. So, what do you what do you powder coat? So, anything. If anybody anything needs any powder coating, right? Anything metal. Yeah. Uh, we specialize in anything automotive related: wheels, brakes, and cooler piping, valve covers, okay, strut cool. bars, um, manifolds. We also offer stereo coating. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty much done for like the backside and the hot side and the turbo. Of oh, okay. So you do like the yeah, ceramic coating correct. for yeah. yeah. So this is getting fully disassembled. I'm gonna set up the back side of the turbo. Okay, nice. So you can do all, all the ceramic coating on exhaust too, right? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Manifolds, exhaust, we're, we're gonna have to be back here then. Stuff. Yeah, dude, whatever. All right, so bulletproof coating, right? Yep, bulletproof coating. San Bernardino. I'll leave the link down below. You guys can find them if you guys are in the area. So, 
you but hollow, we'll take care of you. Yeah, definitely. So awesome. he's gonna take care of this stuff, and then uh, yes, I'm excited to see how this looks in a, in a week or so. Okay, guys. So we're out of there. Bulletproof coatings is gonna take care of us. Let's head back. Man, look at that, you guys. Looks like it's getting worse. That is insane. Okay guys, so it's actually the next day. Uh, we got back from Bulletproof Powder Coating and I wanted to just kind of talk about a little bit of stuff. It's gonna be an ongoing discussion, and uh, but I do wanna show you the kit in its entirety. So I don't have everything all in one spot, but I'll show you guys what I have. So this is the Row Supercharger Kit. Um, you guys saw the piping that we dropped off and you know once everything's kind of situated and I can lay everything out for you guys, I will. And we're gonna be going through as always, um, you know, I'm gonna break down exactly how we're installing it. So don't worry, that's all gonna be coming. So this is a uh, Kenny Bell, of course. I do honestly, guys, if I had my way, I would really want to powder coat this, but it's just, it's kind of a little bit, uh, if it was just a regular unit, I would definitely powder coat it, but the fact that somebody spent the money to polish it, I guess I'll just leave it alone. I really think this would look badass, wrinkle red, powder coated, like the valve cover and stuff. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do it since it's already you know a more expensive unit that's fully polished. So I'll end up you know polishing it up even more. So that's that. That's the adapter plate that goes there. And let me go ahead and show you guys the rest of the kit in the box over here. Okay, so you have to excuse the mess a little bit in here, but this is gonna be the part that goes on and in between uh, the heads actually. So this is gonna go in the intake valley, and this is the updated uh, intake. Uh, plate so row came out with an updated and revised version so that See these channels here it distributes uh, All the air evenly to all the cylinders because they came out with this revised kit And if I go over here and show you guys I have two kits So if you guys happen to be watching this video and you're looking to supercharge uh, Your car, I definitely have more parts than I need so um, If you guys are interested, let me get my car up and running and then whatever i have left over i can definitely share with you guys so here's uh like i was explaining earlier comes with its own standalone fuel rails so these are pretty trick they got all you know earl's anodized fittings and fittings so i'm pretty excited to get all those on there so both fuel rails and it does have the original kit had a i'm probably gonna mess up the name of this but a vafc i think it's called or vec um, so it's kind of like a piggyback controller. So I have all of this. If you guys need this, we're going to be flashing the car with HP tuners, so I won't need this, but I have the full, this is something that the Viper guys were using for years. So that's an effective unit. If somebody wants to use that, um, I have that there's our tensioner. I've got the belt, uh, of course, this really long fuel line that converts it back into the factory fitting there. Um, not too much couplings are needed, but I do, let me flip this out of the way for a second and I'll show you guys what's underneath here. So I also have an SCT that comes with the row kit. We also won't be using this. So I've got two engine management systems that we're not going to be needing. And underneath this, what I started to want to show you is down here. So here is the original supercharger plate, the one that goes in the valley. I just showed you guys the other one. So I technically have two of these valley uh, plates. So if you really wanted to guys, if you guys were to buy a Kenny Bell, you could bolt it up to this and use it on your Viper. So like I said, I have two kits. And if you look in over here, here is our map sensor. So we need the SRT4 map sensor. And then I have two bags of injectors. So we're gonna use um these injectors here so these are the ones that you can see injector set two everything was nicely labeled um some fittings that we're gonna have to use but like i said we'll get into all this once we get into the install videos and i have another set of injectors as well so this went with the original kit and then the updated kit from row came with the plate and another set of injectors and a different uh engine management system I also have all these pigtails if needed for different injectors. We got a lot of parts here, guys, but everything is here. Everything is labeled. You can see we have an idler wheel here and uh, we're going to get to the install. But I just wanted to quickly show you guys we have a box full of parts for the car. Okay, guys. So like I mentioned, it's going to be an ongoing project. Once I get the piping back from Bulletproof, 
uh, powder coating, I'll end up laying it all in on the floor, show you exactly how everything fits together before we actually start getting underway. Um, because it's a used kit, I'm still also uh, having to get a few things. I think I have told you, but if I haven't, I'll tell you again. Uh, I am gonna be running methanol on this, so I do have a row methanol kit coming for the car. And uh, I have some other goodies too. I don't know if I should spoil it just yet, but if you guys like the sound of the Dakota, I might have a similar sound coming with the Viper. So I don't wanna spoil it. I don't know if it's gonna work yet, but I have some stuff coming. So anyways, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think of this whole build. I know most of you guys, or a lot of you guys probably aren't, uh, you know, probably don't have a Viper maybe, or you're not gonna be doing this to a Viper if you have one, but I think it'll be interesting either way. So hopefully you guys got my back on that and uh, bring some excitement along with the other projects that we're doing. So a lot on the go, trying to keep it uh, interesting, kind of jump around from a bunch of different projects for you guys so you guys are entertained. Let me know what you guys think down below. See you on the next video. Thank you.